And this is big news. State officials have cleared the way for Hawaiian Telecom to offer TV services on neighbor islands in direct competition with cable. Hawaiian Telecom President Sue Shin is with us this morning. This is the other shoe dropping from something you, you started doing a few years ago, which is mm -hmm. investing big money in rewiring your whole network for fiber. Absolutely, yeah. So we really started our fiber investment in 2010, 2011 timeframe. Actually, we launched TV on Oahu in 2011. Right. Right. You need that fiber optic backbone network in order to support things like Fly Optics TV, which is our brand new TV product. Um, as well as right high-speed internet, right the kinds of speeds people want and need today, right? After doing a lot of rewiring on the neighbor islands, how much of the neighbor island population is does have fiber coming to their home? Yeah, so the neighbor islands, we have the I entire island of Lanai completely covered. We have the top side of Molokai completely covered. Um, by the end of this year, we'll have the island of Kauai completely covered, and we're making steady progress. Uh, across the entire state, we're a little over 50% fiber enabled. So we have a little ways to go, but you know, within the next several years, we'll have the state completely fiber enabled. So it's really exciting. How many people are involved in doing all this wiring? That's a lot of lines people. It's, uh, it's a lot of lines people. What I would say is that we have 1,100 employees statewide. And whether they're in our finance department, HR, or out in the field, they have they play an integral role in this fiber expansion. You know, our employees feel really the sense of responsibility around what it is we're doing for the state and our community, because I think we all realize that what we're doing is essential today. It's no longer right broadband. Yeah. Internet access is no longer a nice to have, right? It's a need yeah. to have. Yeah, you need it. And on yeah. the neighbor islands and rural areas, especially, you need it for medical consultations. Absolutely. Or school assignments. Absolutely. And we saw that come into really sharp focus, especially during the pandemic, right? Now, I was focusing on linesmen, but when you mentioned the office, it occurs to me, yeah, there are, you've got people who have to decide what the product is going to be, what services will be offered in this pipeline. Absolutely. And our product team that was heavily involved in this Fioptics Plus product, which is really the latest and greatest in video technology, right? So the way I like to describe it is, think sort of your, your old cable TV experience, right? That linear TV experience yeah. with the guide and that whole thing, right? And then layer on top of that, today's experience, right? With over the top, so things like Netflix, right? And Prime and, you know, all of those kinds of over the top all in one fully integrated platform. So it's really seamless. It's, um, it's a terrific product and I'm really proud of our team for bringing, right, we're bringing the best to Hawaii. And I think, you know, there's this real sense of excitement among our team members around what it is we're doing, not just the fiber build, but things like Fioptics Plus TV. Now, what's the timeline? Uh, how soon can people on neighbor islands uh, look into this? Yeah, so we just got the approval uh, this past Friday, and we're going to be launching the product, so it will be available for sale on August 5th. Okay. So very soon. If you want more information on this, uh, check it out on the Hawaiian Telecom website, uh, because this ch is a real game changer. People say that thing all the time, but I think this uh, really meets that definition. 646, and we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment.